In spite of safety precautions, people sometimes get careless and accidents happen. That's why a well-equipped chemistry lab has emergency equipment to take care of them. If you've cut yourself, wash the wound to remove any chemical traces. Make sure there are no pieces of glass in the cut. Dry your skin carefully so a bandage will stick. Let your teacher put the bandage on the cut. Notify your teacher whenever you have an accident and make sure to get immediate medical attention after any injury in the lab. Chemical spills and splashes are also common lab accidents. Ah! Are you okay? My eyes. Let's go wash them out. If a chemical hits your eyes, wash them immediately in an eye wash fountain. Hold your eyes open and roll them around so the water can wash them thoroughly. You shouldn't be wearing contacts, but if you are, get them out as soon as you've given your eyes a good initial rinsing. Continue washing for at least 15 minutes. Then see a doctor immediately to check your eyes for damage. Non-corrosive chemical splashes on bare skin should be rinsed off in the lab sink with plenty of water. Spills of corrosive materials require a lot more water. Don't wait till you feel pain from the chemical. Head for the safety shower immediately. Rinse your body thoroughly as fast as possible. Take off all your clothes. Don't let modesty make your injury worse. Your teacher will clear the other students out of the room. Stay under the shower for at least 15 minutes. Fires are always a potential hazard in chemistry lab, especially when organic liquids are involved. Small fires in containers can often be put out by covering them. Turn off the burner so the fire won't reignite. Larger fires require a fire extinguisher. It should be operated by a teacher, not by a student. Hey, fire! No, let's leave. If the fire is too large to control, clear out of the building. Call the fire department when you're safely outside and tell them what chemicals are involved. Clothing fires can be put out in a couple of ways, as the mannequin will demonstrate. The best way is in the safety shower. If the shower's not close by, the rule is stop, drop, and roll. The victim's weight on the fire puts some of it out, and a fire blanket gets the rest. Flames should be kept away from the victim's face. Anyone who's been burned must get medical attention immediately. Clean and dry the skin around a cut before a bandage is applied. Rinse chemicals from your eyes in the eye wash fountain. Rinse chemicals from your hands and arms with water in the sink. Remove your clothes on the way to the safety shower to rinse large spills from your body. Extinguish small fires in containers by covering them. Let your teacher use an extinguisher to put out larger fires. Put out clothing fires in the safety shower. If there's no other way to put out a clothing fire, use a fire blanket carefully to keep flames away from the face and neck.
The accidents in this program may look serious, and many of them are. But don't let the potential for danger scare you away from chemistry lab. A safe, well-run chemistry lab is an interesting and rewarding learning experience. If you pay attention, use common sense, and follow the safety rules you've seen here, the chemistry laboratory can be safer than your own home.